It's been a real long time. This is really awkward. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been probably a year, maybe a little under a year since I posted on this channel. Just a quick disclaimer. I am a mother. I'm also married. I also have a full-time job. YouTube is not my first priority. I also have a, another side hustle that I'm doing as well that takes up you know any remaining time that I may have for YouTube so so just that being said I just want y'all to understand you know I'm a very busy person so also there's the part of my day where I have to sit in traffic for over an hour to get home from my job so I just really don't have a lot of time seeing as that we're all quarantined right now I decided to take the advantage of this opportunity I'm gonna record a couple videos and I'm gonna post them as you probably know I have a entire arsenal of emails that have flooded my inbox since I've been gone. And even when I was still recording, I still had hundreds of emails. I'm gonna try to do as many as I can. I'm probably going to record maybe three videos today or three emails today, and then I'm gonna post them. I'm gonna edit them ASAP. I'm not gonna wait until Thursday, I'm gonna post them. As soon as I get done editing them, I don't care if it's like one o'clock in the morning, I'm just gonna post them. Also, I have some um, screenshots saved of people who turn on their post notifications. So I'm just going to start again with that as well. I'm pretty sure people have turned off their post notifications, you know, since <laughs> my hiatus. I'm gonna try my hardest to post more. You know, I just, I'm a regular person. I got a lot of stuff going on. So, okay, so I'm just going to start. Uh, the person that I'm shouting out today for turning on the post notifications is King Zek. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, even though it probably was a year ago. Also, this is a new ring light, by the way. <laughs> I'm getting fancy. This, this video is probably all over the place. Um, I'm just going to start. Oh, I'm so off, bro. I'm so off. This email says, hello, I found your channel and figured I'd give it a shot. I was diagnosed HIV positive about five months ago. Since then, I've been literally investigating, trying to find out who gave it to me. The doctor I spoke with told me that judging by how progressed it is, it could have been in my body for a year or more earlier. I wrote down all of my partners for the past three years just to be safe. I am somewhat of a feminist and I believe that whatever a man can do, so can a woman. A double standard. So women being called a hoe when having the same amount of partners as a man disgusts me. I'm not ashamed to say I've had sex with 13 men in the past three years. With 11 of them, it was protected and two unprotected. My issue is that I have asked both men I had unprotected sex with to go and get tested. Both men have told me they were clean and even showed me papers to prove it. I don't even know where to start with the others because I don't want to tell everyone I've had sex with that I'm now HIV positive. It's not something that I want to broadcast to the world but I honestly don't see any other way. I wish there was a way I could pinpoint who it was just to discuss it with that person and see if they even know they're positive. This is just one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. I would like some friendly advice and please save all the comments about me keeping my legs closed. And if I wasn't being promiscuous, it would have never happened. There is no point in saying that because what's done is done. Me personally, I don't think that you should dwell on that. If you don't know right off, right off the top of your head who it was, then leave it up to them to be the responsible adult and get tested on their own. Um, they gave it to you, so they had it already. So if they, you know, if they need to find out, then they should get tested on their own. I would not waste any more of my time trying to figure out who gave me HIV because in the end does it really matter if you have any advice for this young lady please leave your two cents in the comments below make sure you subscribe to my channel like I said I am coming back I will see you guys in my next video which I'm about to record right now so stay tuned because it's going to be posted right after this one probably um yeah I'll see you guys in my next video